Good day friends, Paul here. Another video about electromagnetic fields, specifically electromagnetic hypersensitivity syndrome, otherwise known as EHS. Reading your comments on my previous video about the new proposed 5G protocol, towers are being built at this minute guys, for the upcoming 60 gigahertz cell phone protocol. If you're watching this video, you're aware of it. So in combination with those comments on the previous videos and my own research from the National Institute of Health, the World Health Organization, articles from Psychology Today, and many more, approximately one to two percent of people are affected by EHS, electromagnetic hypersensitivity syndrome. I'm gonna say at the outset, including myself, and how it manifests with me specifically, is when I activate Wi-Fi on my cell phone, occasionally, not all the time, but if I'm in a really relaxed state and I turn on Wi-Fi, I can actually feel a sensation through my hand into just about my wrist area. I don't experience, I don't think so, confusion, headaches, fatigue, nausea, or burning sensations like some people do, maybe some of you. This is a controversial syndrome because that one to two percent is often offset with a placebo effect in some individuals. And the it seems like the majority of the medical community guys recommends psychiatric counsel, psychological counsel uh, treatment for this disorder as well as suggesting that the symptoms may be due to other environmental factors like ozone and carbon monoxide pollution, lead in the environment. It's interesting that some of the first studies done into EHS were done by the Russian military, whose soldiers that were working in radar and radar and radio we're experiencing the deleterious effects of uh, radio frequency exposure. Please post your experiences in the comments below regarding any symptoms you may have had or do have with either cell phones, uh, Wi-Fi. Do you notice any distinction in your living environment between 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and using 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, which is confusingly referred to as 5G as well, even though the cell protocol at 60 gigahertz and your home's Wi-Fi router at 5 gigahertz, that's a huge difference in electromagnetic field radiation. As mentioned in a previous video, I've disabled my 5 gigahertz on my router recently after exploring this topic, especially during this stay at home shelter in place phase that we're in, uh, where, the, where it facilitates doing this kind of research. Thanks for dropping by today, folks. Please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends or anybody who you've had this conversation with, because I'd like to check out what you guys have to say below in the comments section. We'll see you soon.